It's time for NBA action. With Craig Anthony and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. David Aldridge will join us from the sidelines. Welcome to Los Angeles. Home court advantage for the Lakers. We are live at the Staples Center. And we've got time for a quick pregame report. With that being said, let's head to the sideline and our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. D.A.? Well, Kevin, Channing Fry's floor spacing puts opposing bigs in a bind. Fry says big guys like the paint. I make them allergic to it. Their big guys want to help, but he can't. He's got to come to Fryland. Just sit out there with me. So it's a pick your poison kind of thing. <laughs> That's right, T.A. You and I both, maybe after the broadcast, you and I can swing over there for a bite. <laughs> and tonight, something we always like to see, two fierce conference rivals going at it. Doris, what's the difference in emotion in a rivalry game such as this? Well, what you like about something like tonight's game is there's a little bit of distaste, right? When these two teams meet, something important's on the line, and you can feel the intensity. Get a nice clean game, huh? And it's the Warriors to start out. Now Golden State's starting five. Offense and defense with Durant and Draymond at the three and the four. It's the Splash Brothers, Curry and Clay in the backcourt. And it's Looney in at the center position. Now here's Thompson. No good with the triple. Durant against LeBron. Pass to Kuzma. For three, Caldwell Pope. Warriors with the rebound. Thompson outside. He dishes it to Green. Takes it from 10. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Green's got the first basket of the game for the Warriors. Boy, the confidence of Draymond Green. How about the focus not getting rattled? McGee the pass to Ball. Lakers passing it around. And LeBron with the basket, the assist by Ball. How on earth did they let him get that wide open? Outside Curry. The pass to Looney. From deep green. Rebound by JaVale McGee. L.A. has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. James against Durant. Here's Ball. And it's Durant with the rebound. The Warriors have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Curry's got his first three points of the game. Well, that's the shot we've all come to expect from Steph Curry. When he's on his game, he's capable of making threes at an historic rate. Now here's LeBron over Durant on the mark with the 15-footer. LeBron's got five now. And defensively, this is a nightmare. He's already on a roll. But Greg, the defense better start to disrupt his rhythm or it's going to be an awfully long night for them. Green dishes to Durant. Curry kicks to Green. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And Draymond Green just does so many things well on the basketball floor. But, but to me, above all else, he, he really is an elite defender who allows this team to be creative with their lineups. You can just put him on any player at any position and feel comfortable with his impact. First one falls for him. And with Green, it just seems that as long as he's going to be in the league, he'll be in contention for Defensive Player of the Year. Draymond Greg has been that dominant on that end of the floor. Yeah, no doubt about it. And one thing's for certain, you don't want to go at him when you need a bucket. Views it as a challenge, almost an insult, if a guy wants to attack him. And he just has a knack for making winning plays on the defensive side of the floor. 
Well, you look back in the last three seasons of the Golden State Warriors, just an incredible run and record in every season. Some, in fact, doors are the best basketball the NBA has ever seen. I think, Kev, we're going to look back at these Warriors teams and feel like we're lucky to have been able to see it live. How about 67, 73, and 67 wins the last three years? They have been the team to beat in all of those seasons. Such a special run. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. LeBron outside. Five on the clock. Pass the ball from deep. And another three for the Lakers. And Ball has tremendous confidence in that shot. As soon as the pass hits his hands, he's ready to pull up. Curry with it. Now guarded by Ball. Durant with it. Back to Curry. Green, the screen. Curry's shot is off. Yeah, coming off that screen, wide open, just can't convert. I think, Greg, that's exactly what you want. The screen was solid. The execution just fell a little bit short on the shot. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. For three, Durant, it's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Boy, the three-point stroke is just so effortless by Kevin Durant. It is a thing of beauty. Here's LeBron. Misses off the right iron. Well, I think the defense took that possession off. I'm pretty sure he won't miss next time. Curry on the wing. Thompson for three. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Uh, Thompson's so quick to pull the trigger. As soon as the ball hits his hands, he is ready to fire. Caldwell Pope outside. He feeds it to James. Passes it to Kuzma. And McGee kicks to Caldwell Pope. James with it. Guarded now by Durant. LeBron against Durant. James, no good. Well, defenders are in the area, and that's all it took to force him to change his release. Durant, the pass to Curry. Outside, Green. Durant, wide open, he fires. A three-pointer, no good. Lakers trail by five. Caldwell Pope dishes the ball. And there's the call on Durant. That is his first foul of the game. defense the Warriors McGee a screen fires the three a, a real struggle to shoot the ball in that first quarter LeBron no luck Curry kicks to Thompson back to Curry green the screen that shot no good and the Lakers will go the other way with it over in the corner, Caldwell Pope. McGee. Kevin Durant with the rebound. Warriors leading by five. Thompson outside. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Here we go, all alone. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. And the long strides of KCP. Dangerous changing ends there, and he loves to finish in space. And that replay sponsored by Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment, giving us an excellent perspective on the play. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. To the middle. The dive for the ball. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. And here is Ball. James kicks to Ball. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Golden State's gone 3 of 6, 50% from deep so far tonight. Curry with it. Now guarded by Ball. Golden State moving it around. Misses off the left iron. And defensively moving his feet there, staying right on top of the shooter. What a great job contesting without fouling. Exactly how you want to defend the mid-range shot. James misses. 
Well, I'll tell you, it hasn't been his best quarter, but we know he won't get discouraged. This guy will keep grinding. And how about last season, Steve Kerr becoming the fastest coach in NBA history to reach the 200 win plateau. This guy has had nothing but success in his first run and already considered one of the elite coaches in the league. Shot clock at two. And again, no good by Golden State. Nice timing to get up on that shot. Boy, you can't ask for better defense, Greg. Excellent work getting right into the grill of the shooter. And Doris, for Kerr to get win number 200, the team only needed 238 games played. For those wondering, that is an insane 84% winning percentage. Wow. wow. Yeah, Kev, you look at all the coaches in any sport, and none of them comes close to that career winning percentage. And for all his success, the guy remains humble and does nothing but give credit to the players. This guy deserves recognition for an incredible record. Caldwell Poe passes to Kuzma. And Durant sends it back. Boy, the long arms of Kevin Durant twice on the pipes. And Thompson kicks to Durant. Caldwell Pope against Curry. Pass to Looney. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Ajan Rondo's checked in for the Lakers. And then for Golden State. Bell is checked in for Looney. And it's Livingston in for Clay Thompson. Lakers trail by three. Rondo kicks to LeBron. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Kevin Durant. You know, what's remarkable to me is how durable and how consistently great LeBron has been. It almost appears to me, guys, he's superhuman. You expect at some point age will start to take its toll, but he's done an amazing job of using his body and keeping it right. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And LeBron is at an age where you usually see players in the downslope of their careers. Well, certainly, Kevin, this guy, when you factor in playoffs and international play, there's a lot of miles on that body. You combine that with the fact that he's top six all time in minutes, it's incredible how successful he's been. Remember, this guy takes extraordinary care of his body. He's off on the second. Doris, we're always talking about players developing their skill sets. What do you think is the hardest skill to develop as a broadcaster? I think for me, the hardest skill to learn was to learn how to relax, to have fun, to not uh, be anything but your most authentic self, because I think the viewer picks up on it. Uh, if you're forcing things, if you're trying to be another broadcaster that perhaps you like to emulate. So I'd say that was the hardest thing. I always say broadcasting a basketball game is like a running conversation between two people because there's so much scoring and the, the, the rhythm and the flow of the game just lend itself to that. At its best, you're 100% correct. Here is Durant following the basket by LeBron James. He used that pick just right. Seven points for Draymond Green. Boy, you have to respect how aggressive Draymond Green is. If he's got the ball in his hands, he's ready to fire. The pass to Kuzma. Over Bell. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Kuzma's got his first basket. Warriors leading by three. Now here's Curry. The dish to Durant. Again, Durant missing. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. McGee a screen. Ball with a wide open look. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Ball's got the game tied up here for the Lakers. And it's the Warriors with the ball. To the paint. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. On the wing, James. There's the screen. Back to Rondo. Inside. But they'll get another chance. Up again. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. 
Golden State's gotten a lot of shots off from three point land in the first quarter but they're only four of nine. Green the screen. It's Bell on the wing looking for his first basket still in this one. There's the steal. And there's the call on James. That's his first foul. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Here's Livingston. Dishes it to Iguodala. There's the pick. Back to Livingston. Green, the screen. Six on the shot clock. Iguodala outside. And that time, also a missed shot. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. LeBron kicks to Ronda. Back to James. Fires from deep. Rebounded by Bell. Well, obviously, it's been an off night for him offensively, but give his teammates credit. They've bailed him out. He's still got time to turn it around. That's tipped. And, and Ball using those long arms to just swat away that shot. I love the hustle. Always nice to have a point guard who can block shots. Here's LeBron after the made shot from Andre Iguodala. LeBron against Iguodala. James kicks to Ingram. Over Green. Los Angeles with another miss. Just a little hesitation on that release, right? His timing looked a bit off. And they take the lead. Green's got nine. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. There's a screen. Ingram dishes to Rondo. Here's the three. What a performance for Draymond Green. He has been the story for the Golden State Warriors. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And Steph Curry, a player with in the gym range, he told us about his comfort stretching the floor. I mean, we're five, six feet outside that three-point line. If I have a dribble, if I catch and shoot, if I have a good look, you know, I think Coach will allow me to take that shot. And, and it's tough to guard, especially when uh, you see a couple go in. Um, that basket gets a lot bigger. I was going to say, Greg, how big must that hoop look to Steph Curry? And tough to guard might be the understatement of the day. Uh, I mean, he is just a, an insanely great shooter. I mean, arguably, the, the, the I don't think there's an argument. He's the best shooter in the world. The argument is whether or not he's the best shooter ever. ever. And, and listen, I can imagine there's very few times that, that Coach Kerr is not going to allow this splash brother to let her rip. <laughs> and off we go. A close game now starting the second quarter. And from what we've seen so far from the Warriors, you know, how would you grade them? I think they play great D and, and not giving up anything easy early on. You love that they're making the offense work, right? Making every single thing they try to do hard. They've got Rajon Rondo dang out there with Ingram. Then it's Lance Stevenson and it's Kuzma in at the pivot spot manning the middle. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. The Warriors shooting around 40% from the floor here. And the Lakers, Greg, for a long time could rely on the lure of Los Angeles to draw top free agents. History does a lot, it seems. Yeah, Paul George listing them on his short list shows they still have that pull, but the Lakers will be big players in free agency, I believe, in the near future. Iguodala, that's a two-pointer, and the Warriors tack on two more. Boy, Iguodala understands how to pick his spots, does such a good job playing within the context of the offense. It's Ingram on the wing. Kuzma passes to Ingram. It's hauled in by Andre Iguodala. Well, he gets the separation he needs. You can't say the same for his aim, though. Mm. Thompson outside. 
Igudala right side the screen from Thompson Igudala outside Stevenson outside pass to Kuzma kicks to Rondo the feet to Dang over Durant and it's Dang again missing the Warriors leading Igudala outside. He kicks it to Livingston. Back to Igudala. Here's the screen. Lock at six. Puts it up from 12. That one a little long for Los Angeles. They've gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. That gives them the lead. Ingram's got five. And when Ingram is left alone from deep, his eyes light up. His shooting is just out of this world. Here's Livingston, and that one's on target from the wing. And the Warriors lead by one. No shortage of drama here early on. Yeah, eight lead changes already. Huge number this early. Rondo kicks to Ingram. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And Brandon Ingram, the second overall pick in 2016 out of Duke. What do you make of his rookie season? You know, very much a work in progress. You have to remember how young he is. Didn't turn 19 until three months before the draft. And he's still real thin. So he's got a chance to improve very quickly over the next few seasons as his body continues Gentlemen, to mature. two shots. Two shots. That free throw missing. Doris, you've seen the game from many different angles. If you were a general manager, what would you look for if you were hiring a coach? You know, it seems to me one of the most important aspects of being a head coach in the NBA, your ability to be a people person, to relate, to pull the strings that motivate different types of players. You know, I look at someone like Steve Kerr, who seems to have such a great feel for the pulse of his team, uh, that seems to understand the players who respond well to sort of him getting in their grill. The other players who maybe need to be pulled jump aside ball, privately because pride you is in play. Listen, everybody has X's and O knowledge as a head coach in the NBA, or they wouldn't be in that position. To me, it's as much about managing egos and minutes and being a good person and invested in those players as it is the X and O's. Have you ever seen a great coach who wasn't also a great communicator in, in their own way? No, I think communication may be the number one skill aside from obviously basketball acumen. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. And Thompson kicks to Igudala. Feeds it to Durant. The shot comes out and it's the Lakers the other way. Outside Rondo. Shoots over Livingston. And he makes the bucket. Drew contact and gets the whistle too. And how good is Rondo in terms of the focus at the rim? Doesn't matter how much contact there is. He's just got that ability to finish. Well, a few things have become clear with Rondo in the past few seasons. One, Greg, he needs to be happy with his situation in order to be productive. And two, he can give you big numbers at times, but he isn't the player he once was on that Celtic team. Yeah, and, and Rondo, just he's such a hard-headed guy and has his own way of approaching things. If you clash with him, everything up? goes up in flames with his game. He needs to be on the same page with his coach, and he's running out of coaches who will put up with him. That's good from Rondo. And when engaged, Rondo is special. A, a triple-double threat who does a little bit of everything for his squad. Thompson dishes to Livingston. Back to Thompson. From deep, Igudawa. And the Warriors miss again. I'll tell you, it'd be a big help if he could snap out of his cold streak. His shooting has been hurting them. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession.
Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Here's Looney. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And Thompson kicks to Iguodala. And the Warriors miss again. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Passes it to Day. He dishes it to Stevenson. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. Now here's Rondo. T right on him. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And just enjoy watching Rondo utilize that speed on the drive. Just kind of nice through the defense there and dares you to attack it. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Two shots. That free throw missing. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. And some changes here for the Lakers. LeBron comes in for Lou Aldang. And Ball subbed in for Lance Stevenson. And the Warriors also making a change. Curry's checked in. So we can't get either to fall. Well, obviously, I think when you watch the Golden State Warriors, when their pieces are clicking and humming all at the same time, it seems to me, guys, they're unbeatable. Now here's Durant. He's got five over LeBron. And again, no good by Golden State. Guys, this offense very effective. And guys, the defense has been no match. They've just picked them apart. Iguodala with the steal. It's three on three on the fast break. Thompson for three. The shot's good on the assist by Iguodala. Thompson's got six. Well, to illustrate your point with the Warriors doors, they were 60-0 last season when they had hit 10 threes in a game. Only if their shooters go extremely cold do they let games slip away. This is correct, Kev, and that's exactly what you expect from great teams. There is so much firepower on their team that unless they struggle to shoot the basketball, you're going to have a hard time beating them. The Lakers have gone 4 of 8 so far here in the second quarter. Ingram passes to Kuzma. He feeds it to LeBron. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. He's got 10. Well, even the best defense can't stop LeBron James from draining shots in the paint like there. He is just so gifted that close to the rim. Now here's Iguodala. They set the pick. Durant for three. And it's Ingram with the rebound. I tell you, he's been dry from three-point range in the second quarter after hitting one in the first. A shot. No good. Nice D from Durant. From outside the arc, drains it from beyond the arc. Well, Kevin Durant goes right up with it. Doesn't give the defense a chance to react. Rondo against Curry. Rondo dishes to Ingram. Here's Bull. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Thompson outside. To the middle. And it's Durant, that time on the assist by Thompson. And that's now 10 points for Kevin Durant. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Here's LeBron over Igudala. Excellent D here by Igudala. The only way he doesn't finish is if the defense gets in his face. Nice job. Curry kicks to Durant. Off target from three-point range. The Lakers trail. It's Ingram on the wing. Takes a three. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got four rebounds now tonight. Ball with the rebound. Ball's got three rebounds now in this one. Pass to Rondo. Ball with it. Picked up by Thompson. There's the pass to Ingram. 
Just five to shoot. Here's Rondo. That's in. He's got two made time now, out, and he's shooting two for three. There's no doubt about Mark. that. It's a bonus anytime you can get Rondo to knock down those contested jump shots. Great focus there on the finish. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. You have a number of young teams in the league, Doris, with a lot of talent, but not many wins. Still in the process of learning how to win. What can a, a coach do to keep them confident and inspire them through the tough times, the growing pains? You know, Kev, I think one thing you always hear coaches talk about is the process, and you can't skip steps. And so I think if you throw yourself into trying to get better every single day and I would say look no further than Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook who started their careers on an Oklahoma City team that barely broke double digit wins in the NBA but both were diligent both kept to the course and both continued to work hard and now you've got two guys who really are MVP level kind of guys and don't you see the stair step too for a guy like Kawhi Leonard who every year picks up something different to do to enhance his overall game you know that's a great point the Spurs would tell you they built his game brick by brick and the Warriors making a change here Green's checked in the Warriors trailer outside Curry there's the dish to Thompson shoots over ball and the Warriors miss again Laps defensively and they actually get away with it bad idea to leave him open consistently though and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. They get Andre Iguodala. And the Lakers, Greg, have acquired some intriguing young talent. Do you see this group blossoming into elite status? I mean, there's still some question marks. Injuries ha have been an issue. Uh, I do see some all-star potential for some of their young fellas. Superstar potential, though, mm, tougher to say. They've got something to build on, though, and that's key. And that one falls for Ingram. He does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line, something he didn't do in the first period. He makes one of two that time. And, and guys, really no ceiling on Ingram. This is a guy who has the potential to be a truly great player before it's all done. Now here's Durant. Ten points for him. Curry with it. He's picked up by Rondo. Off the pick. Curry can't get it to go. Los Angeles has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Now ball. He has six. LeBron James on the wing. He's covered by Iguodala. LeBron's shot is good. Yeah, the easy lift on the jumper by LeBron. That, that's really hard to defend, guys. Curry kicks to Thompson. Shoots over ball. Count it in the Laker lead. Has been cut down to just two points with the bucket from Thompson. Well, what a terrific option he is for them. Really puts a ton of stress on an opponent. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. You think of Clay Thompson and you think of his great shooting ability. But Doris, he is just as impactful on the other side of the ball. But to me, Kevin, he is one of the elite two-way players in the game because though he doesn't get a ton of steals or blocks, when it comes to guarding the James Hardens or the Russell Westbrooks, Clay always draws that assignment and does an incredible job. And if you're sensing a concern, best thing you can do is call timeout. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt. You've got to get this game under control. I think he sees some adjustments he can make. Los Angeles making a switch here. Fries checked in. Rondo with the ball. 
He has five. Here's the screen. And there's the call on James. That's foul number two for him. It's a close game here in Los Angeles. Outside, Green. Iguodala outside. Fades away. Count it. Green's got 11 points. You don't want to give Draymond Green any breathing space from the mid-range because that'll start to get him percolating on the offensive end. And here is LeBron. 12 points for him. For three, Fry, and he's good on the three ball. Fry's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. Thompson passes to Durant. The screen from Thompson. At the top of the key, Curry. It's stolen by Rondo. On the wing, James. There's a good screen from the baseline. It's rebounded by Golden State. Thompson outside. Over ball. On the wing, Green. 11 points in the game. Now here's Rondo. LeBron James on the wing. Knocked away. It's stolen by Green. Shot and game clock separated by five. Curry wide open from outside off the mark. Boy, he has been cold for a while now. Yeah, starting to look like it's taking its toll mentally. He doesn't look like himself. Iguodala against James. Dishes the ball. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. He's got nine. And no doubt the release point is a bit unorthodox in terms of Ball's shooting technique. But man, can he slingshot it home from deep. And so we wrap up the first half. Lakers lead by six. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin, here with Contavious Caldwell Pope. And Contavious, you guys were getting a lot of offensive rebounds in the first half. How important was that? I mean, they was important, man. We got to keep them off the glass. Uh, we can't get them second shot. And we got an uh, offensive rebound too as well. Get us uh, some second chance at the basket. And just keep working hard. Well, you made it work in the first half, KCP. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Welcome Show. Welcome back, folks. Ernie Johnson here along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. We're going to break down all the action from the first half. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. Some good moments from both teams, but as the first period wrapped up, they trailed by two. They really touched on the right formula in the second quarter as they were able to pull out to a six-point lead before the halftime break. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, first and foremost, you got to take care of the basketball, and that means playing with poise, making good decisions, and not giving away any possessions. They did a great job of that in the first half. Shaq, what are your thoughts on Golden State? Their shooting rhythm was off, under 40%. Some of that was shot selection. Some of it was the defense stepping up. My guess is we'll see some significant changes as things get going in the second half, increasing off-the-ball activity, making the extra pass, and trying to get better looks. And now, folks, just moments away from the start of the third quarter. And it's been a back-and-forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, it's the Splash Brothers, Curry and Clay in the backcourt. Durant and Draymond Green. 
talented forward duo. And it's Looney in at the five spot. Now here's Durant. Kicks to Green. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. McGee's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Back to James. Pass to McGee. James outside over Durant. And James gets it to go on the assist by McGee. James has got the first bucket of the third here for Los Angeles. Now here's Curry. Tight defense on him. From deep three-point range. That shot no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Caldwell Pope against Thompson. That shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Well defended, though, and, and he's not someone who handles that kind of pressure very well. There's the triple. Hits it from three-point range. Caldwell Pope's got five. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been triples. Curry dishes to Durant. To the paint, stolen by McGee. Caldwell Pope with it, picked up by Thompson. Caldwell Pope against Thompson. Green with the block. Simply cannot throw up that weak stuff around Draymond Green. You'll hear about it. He will relish the opportunity to send it back. Durant kicks to Curry. The feed to Thompson, and it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Thompson. Eight points for him. They set the pick. Here's Looney. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And really no other way to put it but the Lakers with that dramatic front office change last season around that deadline and new big name leadership. And the hope is that they can escape from what's been an awfully rocky patch here of Lakers history. Two shots. And that one misses. And the turmoil for the Lakers up top has certainly been fodder for the newspapers in Southern California. Yeah, aborted takeover attempts, infighting, court battles. I mean, this has been a soap opera. But one thing is certain, in order to be successful as a franchise, you need everybody on the same page. Good on the second free throw. Lakers leading by 10. McGee is screen. McGee is screen on green. From deep, James. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. If LeBron's three-point game is going, turn the lights out. It's over. Now here's Curry. Defense right on him. Durant against James. Six to shoot. The baseline, J. Rebounded by McGee. McGee's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Ball no good. Warriors trail by 13. Durant the pass to Curry. Stolen by Ball. He kicks it to James. Passes it to Kuzma. Stolen by Thompson. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Well, the hard-charging approach of Klay Thompson paying dividends with the foul call. Hey, they like to see that kind of aggressiveness. The Warriors have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. Shooting two.
that free throw good from Thompson. Listen, the Warriors are an incredible offensive juggernaut, but the reality is this team has been a championship caliber team because of their defense. The versatility of Draymond Green helps contribute to a team that led the league in opponents field goal percentage and led the league last season in blocks and steals. Truly incredible on that end. And so Thompson nails both of them. And for the Warriors, what they do on defense is impressive on their own. A lot of switching and rotations that they are able to get away with because of their personnel. Correct, Kev. What makes this team work is they have a group of players who can all cover multiple positions. The Warriors can turn that switch and close out games because of absolutely suffocating defense. Great way to see the alley-oop. That replay courtesy of Under Armour. Another Unleash Chaos moment. Timeout called the Warriors. You know, my guess right now is coach wants to talk over this turnover issue. And it seems like they've been trying to force things a bit and need to find a steady rhythm offensively. Here's Thompson. Ten points for him. Feeds it to Curry. Green, the screen. Thompson with it. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. Back to Curry. Shoots over ball. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down now to just 11 on the basket from Stephen Curry. Los Angeles has gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Here's Kuzma. He dishes it to James. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. LeBron's got 19 points. And defensively, they've gotten a little careless, not playing with the same focus we saw in the first. And stolen by LeBron. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. LeBron's got nine points now in the quarter. And that keeps him perfect from the field this quarter. Durant dishes to Thompson. Curry outside. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fourth assist in this one. Kevin, I don't know that there's another guy in the league that would even think about it from that distance. It's uncanny how comfortable he is from that kind of range. Steph Curry doing work. Now, here's Ball. Nine points in the game so far. Just five on the clock. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's on Kevin Durant. And a pretty unorthodox slingshot shooting form for Lonzo Ball. He, Greg brings it up on the left side of his face. Yeah, but he's still got great balance, and the lower body mechanics are perfect. Good wrist action on the follow-through. Sometimes we get caught up so much in the motion to get to the shot. It's about the release point. And when you get there with this guy and the confidence with which he plays, I think it's a non-issue. The first free throw is good. Yeah, impressed with the work ethic of Ball. You can see a desire to want to be great. And he's going to continue to work on improving those weaknesses. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And in terms of just how explosive this Warriors team can be, they can get hot over a course of a few minutes. And Doris just put a team away. The way they can shoot from deep and, and then play defense is just overwhelming. How often have we seen, Kev, the game might be a two or three possession game, and within seconds, all of a sudden, they're up 20. They're incredibly deep shooting. Their ability to play off their own made shots and build momentum can steamroll a team. Now Thompson, after LeBron's three-pointer that didn't go. Shot is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut down to just 12 points with the basket from Thompson. Here's James. Great tee that time from Green. Golden State's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Pass to Curry. It's tipped. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Yeah, yeah, you go for the steal, but at least you do get the deflection. 
Well, Greg, you, you make them reset their offense, right? It's disrupting their rhythm. Now here's Curry. Eight points for him. Outside Durant. He feeds it to Thompson. That's good, and a nice assist from Durant. Durant's got three assists in the game. Boy, and when Clay Thompson gets cooking, it is really fun to watch. Remember, this guy set the record for most points in a quarter. Put a hearty 37 on the defense. Here's Kuzma. The Lakers have gone 6 of 11 from the line tonight. And he knocks down the first one. Sean Livingston, he's checked in for Steph Curry. He's off on the second. Warriors trail by 11. Durant kicks to Thompson. And it's Thompson again missing. But still, eventually you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down again. Lakers passing it around. And the Lakers with another miss. The Warriors have gone 4 of 9 from the floor so far in the third. Durant kicks to Livingston. On the wing, Thompson. With the shot. And the Warriors tack on two more. How about the elevation from Clay Thompson? His jumper is sweet and it's pure and it doesn't matter if the defender is there or not. LeBron James on the wing. McGee with it. Looney on him. Here's Kuzma. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Kuzma's got four points in the quarter. Just an example of what sets LeBron apart from everyone else. The ability to set up his teammates for easy scores while being so dominant Sorry. himself. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And Doris, one thing we've seen with LeBron, he's not shy putting pressure on the franchise when it comes to personnel decisions. <laughs> right, Kev, this guy is very serious about winning championships. LeBron James expects support from ownership in terms of acquiring the right pieces, and he keeps his contract short with a purpose. That exerts leverage to be in position to win. Bell, he's checked in for the Warriors. Igudala comes in for Kevin Durant. Thompson passes to Igudala. Now the pass to Livingston. There's a screen. Lock at six. Green, the screen. And again, no good by Golden State. Defensive positioning so important, and he could not have played him better there. The dish now to ball. Here is McGee. Kicks it to ball. James outside. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Livingston kicks to Bell. Green, the screen. Bell dishes to Thompson. Shoots. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Los Angeles leading by 15. Now ball. He's got 11. Down low. 
And the slam dunk by McGee. And it's been about that execution offensively. I mean, they have been superb. Uh, there's no doubt. I mean, they're making all the right moves. Their chemistry tonight has been phenomenal. Here's Thompson. No good again that time. L.A.'s gone to the three-point shot eight times already in the second half and hit four of them. Ball with it. Dishes it to Caldwell Pope. They set the screen. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Yeah, still moving a little bit when he set that screen. He'll argue that he was set, but I, I really didn't think so. No, I didn't either. I thought his feet were moving. It was close, but he was still sliding in just a bit. Brandon Ingram, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Rondo comes in for Caldwell Pope. Livingston passes to Thompson. Shoots over ball. Let's it go from the baseline and nails it. And that's 18 points for Clay Thompson. Well, Clay Thompson can score at all three levels, doing work in the mid-range right now. LeBron kicks to Rondo. McGee a screen, lets it go from deep. The Warriors pull it in. Thompson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Stolen by McGee. Now, here's Ball. He's covered by Thompson. Stolen by Thompson. LeBron against Iguodala. Fires for three. Shot is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut down to just 12 points on the bucket from Thompson. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? LeBron dishes to Rondo. There's 154 left in the third. Out to the right wing. McGee sets the pick for ball. Shot clock at five over Thompson and that one clearly a foul gets the whistle and two shots coming up yeah and ball size makes him a difficult guy to guard he uses it well to pick up fouls while shooting and you know so often we hear about a player coming out uh, uh, as an elite athlete but Lonzo Ball is an elite basketball brain I mean this guy sees everything on the court a terrific passer but more importantly He's a guy that players like playing with. He really approaches the game like a 10-year vet. That free throw, no good. And with Lonzo Ball, you've heard all the comparisons to Jason Kidd is how he plays and views things as if it's a chess match. Uh, Greg, pretty good company to be in. I tell you, that just shows the lofty expectations Ball has been saddled with and He's the ultimate team player and plays to win. There, there are questions about his game, but what I always say is the fact that the players he plays with tend to play their best basketball, which I think is a reflection of his game. Warriors trail by 13. It's Bell on the wing. Over Ingram. Not enough on that one as it misses. L.A.'s gone downtown a lot since halftime. They've missed five of their nine attempts out there, and they double them up with LeBron. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. It's stolen by Bell. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Livingston, and so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. You look at the height of Sean Livingston Doris and how he is able to both score and facilitate for others. He is a coach's dream in that regard. Well, Sean Livingston is a mismatch nightmare because with his size, he can shoot over most point guards in the post or in the mid-range. But then if you put a bigger player on him, he now, can create mismatches at other positions. He's a tough guard. Free throw good, Livingston. Livingston hits both of them. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. 
Back to James. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Iguodala kicks to Thompson. That falls. Nice feed that time from Andre Iguodala. And that's now 24 points for Clay Thompson. Los Angeles leading by eight. LeBron outside. And they double him up with LeBron. There's the three. The Warriors pull it in. And the wide open shot from Green. And the three off target. The Lakers shooting the ball at 42%. Ball, the pass to LeBron. There's 25 seconds left in the third. Six on the shot clock. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. They get Andre Iguodala. He simply can't bite on that pump fake from LeBron because he is waiting for you to leave your feet, and he's going to lean in to get to the line. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And the first one drops. We know that LeBron has always been a good foul shooter. Not a great one, but a good one. And James drills them both. We've got 13 seconds left here in the third quarter. Green, the screen. There's a screen. Thompson from long range. That drops and it comes off the assist from Livingston. And now it's 27 points for Clay Thompson. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers heading to the bench with a seven point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've got a big advantage in the turnover stats because of their intense defense. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And a moment ago, inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. Hang in there. Keep fighting. We've already climbed back in it. Let's make another push right now. We get a good close. We start this whole game over again. Smelling a nice little comeback, I think, Steve Curry is asking his guys to clamp down now that they're right there. Yeah, and this also means trying to minimize mistakes. You want to attack, but you want to do it intelligent. Just one quarter left in regulation. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. They've got Ingram. Hart is out there with Lance Stevenson. Then it's Dang, and it's Kuzma in at the five. That's the Laker five. Here's Hart. Pass to Ingram. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Gotta see Ingram get going down low. Just another dimension of his game that he continues to develop. Iguodala dishes to Livingston. Bell with a screen on Deng. Here's Livingston. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. Boy, the screen doing its job to perfection. One of the oldest plays in the book and still one of the best. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. And Steph Curry with the foul. That's his first foul. On defense, Golden State. Four-point game. They set the pick. And there's the feed to Ingram. Keeps it alive. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. That's just sheer determination on the offensive glass. Beating everyone to the spot for the tip-in. Curry kicks to Livingston. Passes it to Looney. Outside Curry. 
And another basket for Golden State. There isn't a spot on the floor where Steph Curry can't do damage. In tight, from three-point or mid-range, there's nowhere Steph Curry is not a dangerous option. Now, here's Stevenson. Shoots over Livingston. It's deflected. Stolen by Stevenson. For the finish. And it's Stevenson finishing it off. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. Fantastic anticipation. Then he shows major explosiveness converting at the other end. Curry outside. That one falls. Coming off Igudala's feed. Igudala's got six assists now in the game. Ingram passes to Hart. Dang against Bell. Dang dishes to Ingram. Here's Hart. Just five to shoot. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. First free throw is good. Kevin Durant's checked in for Golden State. So after making the first, he goes one for two. You know, he may be kicking himself for that one miss, but establishing the two-possession lead was key. I'll tell you, he's not going to get in his coach's good graces if he's missing wide-open looks like that. Now here's Ingram. Takes it from 10. It's tipped. And here is Curry. Pass to Looney. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Brandon Ingram. Shooting two. Free throw, no good. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. The pass to Hart. Here's Kuzma. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And the first one at the line is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 
And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Now here's Curry. Pass to Looney. Now here's Livingston. Not a lot of room. Shot clock at six. And a wide open look for Igudala. And the Warriors miss again. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. From deep, Stevenson. Rebound by Igudala. Warriors trail by six. Passes to Looney. Let's it go from 11. And the Warriors miss again. Here's Hart. He kicks it to Stevenson. Ingram passes to Kuzma. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. They get Andre Iguodala. Love how Ingram toys with the opposition, drawing contact very easily on these kinds of attempts. And that one misses. Well, free throw shooting is a constant cause of concern for them. And today, that concern has been front and center. And the second free throw, good. Warriors trail by seven. There's a screen. Lobbed up there for Durant. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Pass to Hart. Shoots over Curry. And again, no good by the Lakers. Golden State's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Iguodala kicks to Curry. Livingston with it. Now guarded by Stevenson. Feeds to Durant. Six to shoot. Knocked loose. And it's the Lakers on the break. Stevenson leading the charge. Got a hand on it. Now Curry. Over Hart. No good. In and out. Off the rim. Lakers leading by seven. Ingram with it. He dishes it to Dang. The pass to Hart. Here's Kuzma. Six to shoot. From deep, Stevenson. Warriors with the rebound. Durant's got nine rebounds now tonight. Uh, no doubt it's been a rough game for him. I don't think he's going to lose any sleep over it as long as they hang on to the lead the rest of the way. Curry kicks to Iguodala. And here is Ingram. Stevenson outside. Yep, that one goes in there. Stevenson's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, and that's the kind of aggressive attitude Stevenson brings to the time table. Out, He's out. not going to sit back and settle for jump shots. Right. If he can attack the basket, he will. Timeout called the Warriors. <laughs> you know, it'll be interesting to see what coach draws up here. Well, they need to stop this run. And a great timeout that hopefully gives his team some energy. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, LeBron James. He deserves a lot of credit, but the D they played on him deserves a little bit of the blame as well. Even when he got hot, they didn't do enough, I don't think, to try and cool him off. And they've been passive when they have needed to be aggressive. And boy, did he make them pay. These fans love him, and tonight he has given them plenty to cheer about. And the Lakers with some changes. LeBron, he's checked in for Dang. All comes in for Lance Stevenson. 
Rajon Rondo subbed in for Hart. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Golden State. Thompson comes in for Sean Livingston. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the break, and he was emphatic. He said, we are not going to win this game playing this way, fellas. You've got to step it up. You've got to get aggressive, and you've got to battle to get back in this thing. Let's see if that pep talk got him going, guys. And so here is Golden State following the three by the Lakers. Making a huge difference from deep tonight. That was a big-time shot. That's where the bulk of his offense has come from, and they're going to need a few more of them before this one's over. Now, here's Ball. Off the pick. Good as the jump shot falls. And the Lakers lead by 11. You've got to stay with Ball off that pin down. He's very smart at knowing how to position himself in these situations. Here's Green. Thompson for three. And it's Ingram with the rebound. Ingram's got six rebounds here tonight. In the corner, it's James. And the three off target. Warriors trail by 11. Thompson outside. Here's Ball. Make it five for 10 with him in that bucket. And how clever is this guy? I mean, just no fear going with the soft, high-arcing floater. Curry dishes to Thompson. And here's Igudala outside. The shot, no good. And it's the Lakers the other way. 17 points was their biggest margin. Now, here's Ball. They set the screen. He's looking for James and finds him. Rondo passes to Ingram. The three-pointer off the mark. He's cold from deep. Zero threes in the second half after hitting just one in the first. Thompson for three. Good, and Curry gets the assist. And that's now 33 points for Clay Thompson. And every set they're running looks like it's designed to produce a triple. Well, you love how the ball is popping outside on the perimeter. It's being moved and finding the open man, and they're cashing in. Warriors trail by 10. To the inside, Curry. And it's Ingram with the rebound. Ingram's got eight rebounds in this game. He feeds it to Rondo. LeBron passes to Kuzma. Now the dish to ball. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Kuzma, that's good. After an ice-cold start to this game, he is pouring it on here in the second half. The Warriors have gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. Timeout, timeout. timeout called the Warriors. Yeah, he, he's got to make some adjustments here. Just too easy to score in the lane against them right now. But, Greg, no resistance, right? They're allowing them to get any kind of shot they want close. That simply can't happen. Here's Curry with the three. Curry with another miss. Lakers leading by 12. Ball kicks to Rondo. Dishes it to Ball. Now the feed to LeBron. Pass the Ball. There's the pick. Down to five on the shot clock. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And it goes on Draymond Green. Two shots, gentlemen. Two.
First one falls for him. And he can't hit the second. Kuzma can't get it to go. And it's not easy to get those stops at the rim, but he does a great job with it. Yeah, he can make it look simple on the interior. When it's really not, he knew exactly how to guard on the inside. Nice shot, squaring up from long range, drilling the three. That'll put some pressure on you. Curry against Ronda. Kicks the ball. The drive by LeBron. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Iguodala dishes to Thompson. 136 left in the fourth quarter. Green, the screen. On its way from Curry for two. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got six assists in the game. 129 left in the fourth quarter. Lakers leading by eight. LeBron outside. Pass to Rondo. Here's Kuzma, guarded by Kerr. The shot's good from Kuzma. Kuzma's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Lakers. And when you're open, Rondo finds you. Always has his head on a swivel. Here's Thompson. Here's the screen outside Curry. Another three for Golden State. And that was a, a real quick comeback there. Both sides showing some range. But both teams are pulling the trigger right now, showing great confidence from behind that arc. Now, here's Ball. He kicks it to LeBron. Great D that time from Iguodala. And it's the Warriors' ball. Trailing here by eight. Curry passes to Green. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. How good is Green at drawing solid contact? He plays with a ton of heart. He's really good at making the defense commit. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that narrows the gap to seven. You just admire Draymond Green for so many things. This guy is a talkative, passionate guy who certainly fires up the group around him. And so he makes both from the line. 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And he commits the intentional foul. the first one and that makes it a seven point lead second free throw no good that time he really wanted that one and with the time remaining I'm just not seeing it no nor am I Greg there's no question they're too far behind not their best effort for sure
Now, gentlemen, two shots. Blue shots. Good on the first, and that trims the lead to six. Well, Kevin Durant, one of the more efficient players that we have ever seen. This guy is a juggernaut by himself on the offensive end. He can score from virtually any spot on the court. And both free throws good for Durant. And now they decide to foul intentionally. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. And he is unable to get the second one. Timeout called the Warriors. They trail by six. 19 seconds left in the game. Guys, what's your take? And I'm not sure the two-point bucket does much here. I think they got to go for three. Unless it's an N one, a two-pointer makes no sense. Unfortunately for them, the defense knows this too. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. And that's an intentional foul. first and that makes it a seven point lead so he goes two for two at the line and it's an eight point game from deep Igudawa nails the triple oh, Andre Igudala time and again can be trusted in these tight spots and so they choose to intentionally foul. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. Outside Curry. Shoots the three. That one falls. Coming off Iguodala's feet. Nobody you want taking that shot more than Steph Curry. What a pressure player. And the Lakers call time here.
And so it's the Lakers who come out on top here. What a show they put on here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win. And, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Luol, huge win tonight. How did you get this done? You know, we locked in. We locked in. Uh, we knew how good they were. And uh, we know when we are at our best, we could beat anybody. Uh, when we lock in like that, we're hard to beat, too. Well, you led the way, Luol. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.